Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you are uh, not done already. Thank you for people who already subscribed. Let us start today's video. Uh, today I am going to discuss about how to create a MySQL Docker container uh, in Ubuntu operating system. Okay, so uh, what we are going to do is we are going to pull the MySQL image from the Docker app and then we'll actually uh, run that container and we'll try to log into the MySQL environment which is running on the container and we'll do simple uh, tables creation and uh, queries on top of that. Uh, I hope this video will be helpful for you all. Let's get started. I'm going to log into my VM virtual machine where I uh, installed my uh, container there. Okay, so I will log in. Okay, so if you want this VM, please uh, log on to my website uh, or blog called uh, uh, datasciencewiki.com and you can send us the request to get this VM. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, so already I have a, a Docker container installed in my machine. Okay, so if you want to check the version of the Docker. Okay, uh, let me use sudo. Why I'm asking sudo is basically uh, the uh, user is not uh, my user, which is data making is not part of uh, Docker groups. That's why I'm actually uh, using a sudo. If you are actually adding your user to the Docker group, then you can use the command directly. So I am I'm using a Docker version 19.0.03.5. Okay, so what we have first step is we are going to pull the MySQL image. So what is the command is uh, uh, Docker. Uh, pull uh, MySQL. So I'm going to use the sudo again. So it is going to look for the uh, image in the local uh, registry. If not available, it is going to pull it from the uh, Docker Hub. So it, you see there's uh, uh, downloading the uh, Docker image, which is a MySQL image. So based on the internet bandwidth, it will take some time. Okay. So let's wait for uh, things to get complete. So next, what I'm going to do is uh, I, I'll just verify the uh, the Docker images downloaded. Okay, then we are going to run this uh, command to start the uh, the MySQL uh, container from the image which we download. Okay, still it is downloading. So it's uh, I'm using uh, uh, Bradband little faster but still uh, it is taking time time okay it is done so so based on the internet bandwidth you will get a, 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 a some a, a certain amount of time to get this image okay so let's run the docker images command okay so i have a, a, a ubuntu image with got downloaded for uh, other purpose like uh, when we build the first docker image uh, 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 tutorial we downloaded the uh, a base image as ubuntu from on top of that only we built it so apart from that uh, now we downloaded this uh, uh, mysql image which is of uh, around uh, 4 uh, 456 mb okay so the mysql image is available so actually we did not give any tag so it is downloaded the latest one so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, run this command. What is this is to run the email uh, we have to create a container called uh, MySQL container uh, from the image MySQL. So what I'm saying is uh, docker run hyphen P uh, the port actually uh, I'm actually mapping a local port uh, 3306 uh, uh, and I'm mapping from uh, this uh, container is uh, by MySQL default port. Uh, Port number is 0006 in the container. I'm mapping to the uh, local machine uh, port the same number. And I'm actually assigning the container name, iPhone iPhone yeah, name, followed by data making iPhone MySQL iPhone DB. This is my container name I'm assigning. And uh, iPhone e is for environment variable. There is an environment variable uh, MySQL root password. I'm setting the root, part, root password for the MySQL uh, environment or MySQL database. So uh, password I'm setting as root123 dollar and iPhone D is basically I want to run this container in the background thread 
as a background process so hyphen d then followed by the image name which is a mysql let me run this command okay in the terminal i'll just refresh the terminal so i am going to run this command so it says success denied yeah i need to use the sudo okay so it is created uh, it says uh, uh, the binding is already i am having a, uh, because my local uh, vm also i am having a um, port number 0006 so i will try to use uh, some other uh, port the local 0007 okay so and it says one minute it's already running it says okay so it's that actually it is created and it was saying that bound is already so what we'll do is we'll stop it sudo uh, docker ps so currently no containers running uh, okay okay so it's not running so let's use different name for it I'll just get dv1 okay so now the mysql container is started so how do you check it sudo uh, docker ps okay see if see this there's a, a mysql uh, uh, mysql in, uh, instance or mysql db is running okay and the container name is data making iphone mysql iphone db1 so it is the the default port number 0006 of uh, mysql containers map to my local uh, port which is 0007 because my 0006 is used by my uh, local uh, 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 mysql instance so that's why i change the port number now what we'll do is we'll just log into this uh, v, uh, container and run the mysql commands okay so how we will do is uh, you need to run this command okay so i'll just uh, docker execute okay and uh, iphone it interactive terminal i is an interactive terminal and i'm providing the container name and i'm going to execute this bash command so that i'll log into the con containers uh, terminal bash uh, command line okay so let me run this Again, I'll put the sudo. Okay, so I am inside the container. If you see here, so all these things are there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, now uh, uh, run the MySQL command. Uh, MySQL hyphen u uh, root user is root and password password is root one two three dollar so some so mysql is uh, logged in now okay so now let's uh, run the few commands so i'll just show you uh, show databases existing databases in this mysql instance so it has information schema mysql performance siphon schema sys so let's create one database which is nothing but a create database temp db sorry test db okay so let me use the test db and i am going to create this uh, table called user detail and then insert few records into the table i am just having three columns user id and uh, i am setting as primary key and username and city okay now let's uh, Query the user table user DTL. So, three rows are there. So, you can write a lot of queries and you can do all the MySQL stuff here. So, once you have done with that, exit out of it. And if you exit out of it, you are actually coming out of the container. Okay. So, now uh, we are done with uh, using the containers. So, let's stop this container. sudo docker. Uh, let's do the ps okay now we are going to stop it sudo docker 
stock i will pass the container name which is a data making iphone sql db1 get stopped now will it we run the ps command again no container is running so this is how you need to use the mysql container for your project if you want to use mysql in a containerization environment okay so i hope this video is helpful i request you to uh, follow my other videos in my uh, channel okay so i have uh, many uh, videos uh, um, on spark and uh, uh, hadoop and uh, uh, we created uh, uh, extensively the playlist using apache airflow and this is the one which i am actually doing uh, docker container um, so i hope this videos are helpful please watch these videos and provide your feedback thank you so much friends